I'm Sabina Hasanova with the latest news in English on Azvision TV. The 6th Congress of the New Azerbaijan Party kicked off at the Heydar Aliyev Center in Baku today. President of Azerbaijan, Chairman of the NAP Ilham Aliyev, addressed the Congress. The President spoke of the history of the ruling party founded by the great leader Heydar Aliyev, its great contributions into the fate and well-being of our society and country. He also once again highlighted our principal position on the Nagorno-Karabakh issue and noted that the Armenia-Azerbaijan-Nagorno-Karabakh conflict should be resolved within the territorial integrity of Azerbaijan and in accordance with international law. Our greatest value is our independence, and the founder of our independence is the national leader Heydar Aliyev. We must develop and apply the most advanced standards in accordance with our national values. We rely on very strong national roots and this is essential for us. At the same time, we must always be open to the world and bring the most advanced technologies to the country. Today, Azerbaijan demonstrates a principled position and pursues an independent policy that ensures the interests of the Azerbaijani people and opens up additional opportunities for many partners. I am confident that 2018 will be the year of rapid development. The country's economic power and resources have strengthened the country's political independence. The 6th Congress of the ruling New Azerbaijan Party has nominated Ilham Aliyev's candidacy for the upcoming extraordinary presidential elections in Azerbaijan, scheduled for the 11th of April. The decision was unanimous. <laughs> President of Azerbaijan Ilham Aliyev has received a delegation led by Senior Executive Vice President of Thales International, Rafael Eskenazi. The head of state expressed his satisfaction with cooperation with the company and noted the importance of the projects implemented in our country so far and expressed hope for further successful cooperation. Elmar Mamedyar of Minister of Foreign Affairs of Azerbaijan has left for Brussels, reported the Azerbaijan Foreign Ministry. The minister will take part in the 15th meeting of the EU-Azerbaijan Cooperation Council in Brussels on the 9th of February. The sites will discuss the state of the EU-Azerbaijan relations in the framework of the Eastern Partnership and the European Neighbourhood Policy. They will also touch upon ongoing negotiations on the new EU-Azerbaijan bilateral agreement, economic and trade cooperation, as well as ongoing economic reforms in Azerbaijan. Chairman of Azerbaijan Parliament Oktay Asadov and Chairman of the Russian State Duma Vyacheslav Volodin attended the opening ceremony of the exhibition dedicated to the 25th anniversary of the establishment of diplomatic relations between Azerbaijan and Russia. This is the first ever exhibition in the State Duma dedicated to a foreign country. The main concept of the exhibition is to display Azerbaijan's rich culture. Russian citizens permanently residing in Azerbaijan or temporarily located in the country will be able to vote at the Russian presidential elections in March, reported the Russian embassy in Azerbaijan. The polling station 1817 will operate from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. local time. Military units of the Armenian armed forces have violated the ceasefire 102 times throughout the day using heavy machine guns, said the Azerbaijan Defense Ministry. Moreover, an Armenian soldier was killed in retaliation by the Azerbaijani army following a provocation attempt yesterday. The Armenian soldier died of a gunshot wound at the combat post on the Azerbaijani-Armenian border. An investigation is underway to find out the details of this incident. Russia has delivered modern military equipment to Azerbaijan in accordance with the intergovernmental deal between the two countries, reports the Minister of Defense. Although Azerbaijan is trying to boost its arsenal through purchasing weapons from various countries, the country is also building upon its own capacities to produce new armaments. The Negotiation Group on World Baku Expo 2025 and permanent delegation of the Republic of Azerbaijan to the United Nations jointly organized the presentation of Baku Expo 2025 at the UN headquarters. The UN bringing together most of the countries is the irreplaceable venue to support Azerbaijani initiative of hosting the Expo. Azerbaijan, as the youngest country ever to host the event, will call the world to find ways to globally develop human capital by investing in education, health and development. Umar Krimlyov, General Secretary of the Russian Boxing Federation, says they may hold the International Boxing Forum 2019 in Baku. Both China and Azerbaijan are proposing their nominations. Everyone loved the forum, so we will hold it each year. We will solemnly pass the forum banner to the country to host it next. 
It now seems that Baku will be hosting it in early February. However, China is offering good conditions in their proposals as well. For now, we are considering Baku as it is most suitable for most. I consulted with all presidents of boxing federations and with the honorary representative of the forum, Gennady Golovkin. And that was all for today from Us Vision TV. Our next update will be tomorrow. Thank you for watching.